guys welcome back to my channel as promised i am back with the q a for the second video this is basically a get to know me q a so you guys can know more about me i got a lot of questions here and i think i think these are suffice enough for you guys to get a basic understanding of who i am don't forget to like the video subscribe if you enjoy the content that i'm posting don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know every time i upload a video guys and let's get into the video so guys i am gonna go through the questions one by one and answer all of them for y'all so the first question i have here is uh why are you hmm, for start with that when i think for start with that from that point yeah like we get some cooler more like a more calm more calmer questions i think yeah so let me not start it off on that note um yeah the first question is if you could change one thing that happened what would it be and my answer has always been I, I always had an answer for this before but since recent times I would say I would change nothing about my life because every bad experience I've had it's um, taught me a lesson it's um, helped me to be who I am now so I don't think I'd change anything because those things needed to happen so I would understand and know certain things if y'all get what I'm saying number two if you could live anywhere where would that be hmm. i think i think canada or um maybe like a tropical country like get out of here like maybe bora bora or something like that yeah i think but if a jamaica i'm not sure if it's jamaica if it's jamaica i am going to live where i want to go so i won't disclose that <laughs> Number three, would you consider yourself romantic? Definitely, definitely. My man can't attest to that. What? I'm definitely romantic. I want to try to think of things to do on um, special days or even non special days because it's not, not all the while you have to wait till like, event come up before you think about something special for the first post. So I'm always want to go outside of the box and do the most. Um, uh evidence of that is on my main channel don't forget to check the link below in the description so you guys can um subscribe to my main channel that i have with my fiance the link is down there question number four why are you so straightforward i don't know maybe because all right so me i am a very no-nonsense person as soon as i see something when me uncomfortable with or i'm not feeling very good about that well as in with somebody else to me me i got that me not only kid. maybe because all my life as a child i was beat down for having my own opinion so now being an adult because i can do it freely and nobody can beat me once I'm uncomfortable, once I have a problem with something, I am the one that's going to let you know and I don't care what's going to happen after if you want to make sure what from the truth, I'm going to let you know. <coughs> Why are your facial expressions always so dramatic? No, no. As I said in the first video, I'm a very expressive person. So, yeah. Can't act and just love my people more like exactly what I go on. So maybe yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the answer. Okay, so moving right along. Before we move right along, guys, don't forget to like the video. Just like the video right now before we move going afraid of like the video. Um let me see. What motivates you? The fact that I am not rich. Let's leave it there. Um, 
if you could visit anywhere in the world where would you go and why i would go to greece because it looked really nice and comfortable i'm not gonna lie it looked very fancy like if my body so it's like I feel like my brain and I don't know, I just feel like I have a clear mind and everything would just be bubbly and you know, you know, like a place of peace. Yeah, it looks very peaceful and it's somewhere where you can sit into a university before, so why not? What's it like living with your boyfriend? <coughs> well, it's normal. I mean, when you just start out, that's something you know, you know, you know, used to. You have to get used to because it make you know, learn about each other, um, why each other have preferences. I I think it's good because it teaches you a lot about your partner and um, make you experience the bad side as well because people do pretend because you're not around them twenty four seven. So it's okay. It's fine. It's great actually. So. What are you most proud of about 2021? The fact that I'm still here. Yeah. That's it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm still here. I can come and do a video. I can be alive. Yeah. Moving on. Next question. What are. Uh, what keeps you motivated well i already answered that so like how do you handle putting out content on youtube while working and dealing with life on a whole like i keep bad girl um we have two things to say to answer that one um do the things that others won't do to have the things that others won't have and two winners don't complain yeah, that's it in a nutshell why did you start youtube i did not have a, a, a reason actually one day me just get up and i said to my fiance um let's just make a youtube channel i'll make a youtube channel I never have no reason to say yo where I do this because whatever. So not it wasn't any main reason. I guess it was just because for fun. Yeah. Next question. Name three things to consider before making a YouTube account. This is a very good question. One <laughs> we have Three things to consider. One, you not go reach, you not go jump, and then where you want for day. Patience, yeah, patience. Two, make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. Meaning, um, you have to make a time for it because you'll be. You, I guess if you just start a channel. Yeah, maybe I work whatever you have to make the time for it make it happen three be consistent so be patient make it happen be consistent because that those three are the only ways you're actually gonna succeed on YouTube yeah have you ever broken the law no never what's the last thing that made you cry the last thing that made me cry Oh, I remember, but I never said that. Moving on. What would you like the proudest moment in your life to be? I would like the proudest moment in my life to be the moment when I look around me and see that everything I have, I've worked hard for, no handouts, and it all took patience, time, and consistency. Yeah. I think that I want that to be the proudest moment in my life. When we can say, yeah, we really do it, you know? We do it in spite of everything we up, man, when we cut you and, you know? We set back them, what we do it. Favorite alcoholic drink? Wine. 
like white wine to be specific. Ah, uh, next question. Everybody asks what keep me motivated. The fact that I'm broke, I'm broke on papers, I'm gonna have nothing in my life. I'm gonna have more money. Yeah? Multiple sources of income we say. When I work for nobody, that we say, them look at things that keep me motivated. Oh, the person says when things get difficult at times, not just what keeps me motivated. What keeps me motivated when things get difficult at times is um me just knowing that there are better days. I spoke to someone um since today that was going through a rough time and I said to her that I'm going to say one thing to you. Just every time when you when you feel down and depressed, just repeat this to yourself. This is it's what I do. It might be stormy now, but it can't rain forever. Yeah. What's one thing or maybe three things that keep you motivated throughout it all? The fact I'm gonna reach, as we say. Um that you keep motivated. Um, knowing that there are better days, as I just said. And um, imagining what it could be if, imagining what if, like when we think, oh, what if we do this and I'm successful, what if we do this and I'm actually rich, what if we do this and I'm actually, uh, like, me comfortable and can, you know, say, me rich, what if it happened, if me just continue, so that made me continue. What's the worst experience that you've ever had in terms of the question in well general? But I've had a lot of um, bad experiences and um, I don't think any of them is sayable. That's not a word, but yeah. Number two, did you ever get in a fight before? Yes, at high school. And that was it never again after no lie yeah that was in high school in high school never again what would be your dream vacation greece bora bora um yeah that what's your longest relationship it's the current one four years Four years, April the 22nd, mark that down on your calendar. Tell me about your worst breakup or heartache. I've only been with two guys before, which is my ex and the, my current partner. So I haven't been through all that where relationships is concerned. And the, the person before this one, I was the one who left and we never spoke. I never spoke to the person again. So I have never had a worst breakup what's your favorite movie i don't have a favorite movie i don't I mean, I even have it my attention span so short i it's like me, me just can't sit down and watch a movie or, or a series if i'm really interested to watch a movie like that but i would definitely say a movie that i love and i would watch 50 million times over is avengers um endgame yeah that bad Guys, I got a lot of questions. I like this. I like this. What's one thing you wish you had in the past which would have positively affected your life currently? That one thing which I wish I had in the past that would have affected my life positively currently is parents that care. Yeah. That's, that's like a big thing for me that caused most of the trauma that I went through. What are you going to be doing on this channel? Well, guys, as I was saying in the first video, but I have no problem with repeating myself. I will be doing vlogs, beauty videos, um, lifestyle videos, story time now and then, here and there. Uh, somebody asked me if I will be doing cooking videos. Yes, but not anytime soon. I'll be doing cooking videos when I change my surrounding. Read between the lines so yeah that's what i'll be doing and i'll be doing another thing that i won't announce you guys as yet it's a big plan of mine and i'm just hoping that it works out i won't be doing it until i get like the platform and by the platform i mean 
the amount of subscribers that I would want to be on this channel before I start something like that. So that was it. That was all the questions I had. Thanks for those questions guys. I really enjoyed answering those questions. I hope you learned more about me with those questions. Follow me on every social media platform that's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. And don't forget to like and subscribe, share, tell a friend about tell a friend to tell a friend about I am Simone. My almost is me and Mike. Oh my god. Guys, I them someday I'm gonna have a second channel eh? But don't forget to tell a friend about I am Simone. We're gonna take this channel on another level. I will be very active over here, videos regularly. So I'm gonna just look out for that and just go and chat it with me on the journey. Until the next video, peace guys.